One of the votes that's already taken place this this session is a piece of legislation that would defund Planned Parenthood. And I have seen where you called that part of it insulting to women. The intelligence and judgment of women. Mm -hmm. The move to defund Planned Parenthood goes way back, but it was yes. re-energized yes. by these undercover videos with interviews of uh, Planned Parenthood officials. Did you watch those videos? They were doctored. I, I saw some of them in, in the news. But uh, what I do know is that three committees in the Congress, the Judiciary Committee, the uh, um, Government Reform Committee, to name two, have been uh, have studied this issue and uh, come forward and said there was, even the chairman of the Gov Reform Committee said there was no wrongdoing on the part of Planned Parenthood. The Republicans have now put forth a a, a select committee, the select committee on Benghazi, a waste of time and taxpayers' money, going on longer than the 9-11 Commission. This, I call it the committee, select committee to hurt women's health. I mean, that's just a terrible thing. But nonetheless, uh, what is interesting to me is for decades here in the Congress, I have been trying to tell people that the Republicans do not support contraception and family planning. It's not about ter terminating a pregnancy. It is it's about that, but it's also largely about contraception. Nobody ever believed me. Now they see firsthand that they want to stop uh, Planned Parenthood from providing these services. The report that Planned Parenthood commissioned didn't actually find that they, it was doctored. It said there was not substantial manipulation of audio or video, but that aside, did, so you mean you did not watch the, any of the videos? I've seen what was in the news, but I'm telling you what but the you committee, didn't watch the but the committee, mm. well, I watched what was in the news. I did, I did not sit down and watch uh, their doctored versions of, of uh, what may have happened, and I still say they're doctored. And we have appointed five great members uh, to, to the commission, to this committee. I don't know if they'll ever meet, because this is such a losing idea for the Republicans. How can Planned do they Planned Parenthood is very popular. Well it's very popular and the what public. they do is what they do is very important. And I can tell you as one who has served on the Appropriations Committee that the Republicans have been aft, out to get Planned Parenthood for a long time because of what they have been involved in globally as well. What would you say to someone in the, and most of the American public is in the middle on the abortion rights issue, in that they would say, yes, we do want it to be legal under certain circumstances, right. but no, we don't want it to be legal under all circumstances. Well, that's Roe v. Wade. So that's what, Roe v. Wade. what would you say to someone who would say, what would be the problem with a piece of legislation that the Republicans want to want to see enacted that would ban abortion after 20 weeks, which well, is the way it is in most European countries, the, for example. Uh, let me just say this. Uh, I'm a Catholic, a, a devout practicing Catholic. I take great comfort in my faith, um, come from a very Catholic family, largely pro-life. However, uh, the, if there's one issue of that really, uh, you know, I, I try to be very dispassionate about how we find solutions. If there's one issue that really is uh, almost inflaming to women is when politicians say, we will in uh, influence the size and timing of your family. We will decide uh, what is right for you. It's probably 3% of what Planned Parenthood is doing it, it involves termination of a pregnancy. And who knows what the situation is uh, in those cases. Republicans have supported the Hyde Amendment, abortion in terms of rape, incest, life uh, of the mother. Uh, the, um, uh, most of the cases that we hear uh, beyond the 20 weeks are painful for the families, painful for the families. But that's not up to politicians in Washington, D.C. to decide. So it's up to a woman and her doctors. So you politicians should get involved in making any limits? No, I don't on believe in abortion on demand. I don't believe in abortion on demand. I'm talking about the health of the mother and the child. And I, that is not a decision that a politician should be making. And this is, this is about a woman's judgment. This is about respect, respect 
for women. Uh, I, I sometimes wonder if Republican men who are here even know what's going on in their own families. Because the fact is that contraception and birth control is something that is used. Uh, I don't believe that terminating a pregnancy is a form of birth control or contraception. And if you want to diminish the number of abortions in our country, you should love contraception. But they don't, and it's really important not to change the subject back to abortion. They don't believe in contraception and uh, and uh, family planning. They don't believe in it. Do you think that limits on abortion rights are kind of a slippery slope? Because is that the argument? I don't believe argument? in that. No, that, I don't no. subscribe to that argument. I, I, I say the, the Roe v. Wade is um, clear as to th three trimesters. Uh, the subsequent decisions by the court to say there should not be, uh, states can, uh, can uh, weigh in on the uh, access to uh, abortion. I don't even like to use the word. That's my generation. I don't even like to use the word. But uh, that they should not place an undue burden uh, on it, and that's what I believe is happening in the state of Texas right now. And that's I the saw case. that you were part of the I'm, I'm going to make this brief, brief. In, in that case. Uh, but this is, uh, this is something so personal. Uh, this office that I serve in is the office of Tip O'Neill when he was speaker, this particular office. And he said all politics is local. I'll go further and say all politics is personal when it comes to some of these issues. It's a very personal matter, and it is uh, uh, important for us not to mischaracterize what this is about.